Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A couple of years ago, I was sitting in this very spot, and I was claiming that I was not going to buy an iPhone on the first day. Go back and watch that video. I said, no, my current phone is fine, does everything I want it to do. And it did, in theory. Hindsight is always 2020. It wasn't uh, too long after that when I recanted and uh, started to use an iPhone. And you know what won me over? The weather app on the iPhone, the original iPhone. I, I, just, I was just blown away. I'd used touchscreen devices before, certainly, but uh, never one quite as... Uh... I guess there's no really good way to describe the feeling that you have when you use an iPhone. Oh my god, I just used the word feeling to describe the experience of a device. Yes, I'm one of those people. I'm also one of those people who upgraded to the iPhone 3G when it was available. And this is uh, my iPhone 3G here. This, however, is still in shrink wrap. This is the iPhone 3GS arrived today. I should be able to activate it over the air, although I hear activation may take up to 48 hours, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this as a primary device immediately. Some people are reporting that AT&T is kind of falling behind. Go figure! AT&T has been nothing but a big fat pile of fail when it comes to the iPhone, specifically the iPhone 3GS. Uh, will not be uh, tetherable, and that is, you won't be able to use it as a, a modem uh, for your computer, either wired or, or, or wireless, uh, USB or, or Bluetooth, uh, until AT&T comes up with a plan. And MMS is not enabled uh, out of the box with the 3GS. And now I find out that activation may take up to 48 hours. So let's go ahead and give her an unboxing. We're doing it live here. I tweeted it out uh, about an hour ago, and this is what's sad. Uh, not that we've got about 700 people watching right now. That's great. That's wonderful. We'll take, you know all we can get but what's sad is that i decided that i needed to take a shower and shave before unboxing this i don't do that for anybody right i mean i, I shower of course for myself and i shave because i need to but i mean i shaved and showered for a freaking phone all right so this is the uh, 32 gig version uh it's black um, I'm not really one to uh, collect white devices if I don't need white devices. Now you may be asking what's going to be happening with the uh, uh, the iPhone 3G. Well, I uh, wound up uh, giving the original iPhone away. This iPhone 3G is going to be going to a friend uh, who happens to work for a company. I'm not going to name any names of the company. Let's just say it rhymes with Schmeikerschmoft. You draw your own conclusions. And uh, this person <laughs> said they didn't want an iPhone. I said, well, just use my 3G for three months, and then you can decide on, you know, where you want to take it from there, and then I may end up selling it at that point. I don't know. Still worth around $200 on the open market. The 16-gig uh, iPhone 3G retained uh, a lot of its value. All right, so I'm just I'm slipping away the cellophane here off the back. That's my sound. Because... Should I just, right there? See, that's how you know it's an iPhone 3G box is because all the icons are on the screen there. There's the uh, the compass icon right there. There's the uh, voice memos icon right there. That's how you know it's th the 3GS. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. And uh, here it is, right there. Ah, oh, man. Easy packaging. Clean packaging, too. Look at that. It's very clean. Got my uh, uh, AC adapter, my cable, uh, charging cable or connector cable, and, of course, the... Uh, headphones and then uh, in here I believe would be the instructions yes the or they don't call them instructions they call them fingertips 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 I hear the wind blow I hear the wind anybody anybody can anybody name the reference okay it's just me but uh, I'm not going to use that to charging cable I'm actually going to use my own because it's black why they have a black phone and then a white cable it's just nuts all right so we'll put that over there don't need that uh, of course I've been using the Griffin clarify uh, and you know you can get a uh, discount on all Griffin products 
uh, by heading to go.tagjag.com slash griffin, G-R-I-F-F-I-N, and using the coupon code Perillo Go. I don't need to use the Clarify anymore, however, uh, because the iPhone 3G has macro capability uh, in its camera, a 3 megapixel camera, and I've already seen some videos posted to the web. And hopefully, we'll be able to do all that, at least in another video. This is the actual unboxing. So, uh, yeah, it uh, looks exactly the same as the uh, iPhone 3G. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to, of course, before I turn it on, connect a Richard Solo 1800. It's a battery, an external battery. Uh, so that way I'm, you know, making sure I'm maximizing uh, the battery time on the, the iPhone 3GS. And uh, we're booting it up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so nice, isn't it? All right, uh, now we got, oh, wow, that was a fast boot. Okay, what do we have here? iTunes. Okay, so apparently now I have to connect it. Ready to go. Go ahead and remove that piece of Velcro. Now we'll remove the battery. Connect the iPod cable. And I may end up flipping this around here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, Danny, is uh, is is it failing you? All right, here we go. So we got the iPhone. Let's let me decrease the brightness a bit. There we go. All right, so now it's asking me. Oh, my phone number. I had it programmed. Cool. Billing zip code. All right, and last for the social security number. And you guys couldn't see that, so <laughs> at least hopefully you couldn't. All right, where'd my mouse go? Screw it. Oh, there it is. I was just going to use... Oh, there's a fact, too. FAQ. Continue. Please wait while we process your request. Uh, accept terms and conditions. Oh, I have to accept it. I actually have to put the check, uh, check mark in the box there. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it there. Please wait while we process your request. This may take up to three minutes. Three minutes. It's like an eternity. At least they can do is, like, play music. Maybe they're maybe maybe they're gonna like play Shockerone as the boot music for the iPhone 3GS. I'm still gunning for that for Snow Leopard, which hasn't been released yet. You know, Shockerone as the boot up music would be great. That'd be cool. It says three minutes, so now uh, we have to do something to uh, pass the time. I know what I can do. Uh, I don't think I pulled it over. Oh wait, hang. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, total total AT and T here. Your activation requires additional time to complete. Please note, due to current iPhone activation volumes, it may take up to 48 hours to resolve your issue. We will send a confirmation to your email address once your activation is complete. We apologize for any inconvenience this causes. You can set up your iPhone and explore features that do not require access to the AT&T network. To get started, please disconnect and then reconnect your phone. Thank you, AT&T, for a big, fat bucket of fail. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that at Apple's earliest convenience, they will drop AT&T. Uh, they've done nothing but uh, been a failure. Here. So let's go ahead and unplug it. Plug it back in for its request. Now it's likely going to be setting up and synchronizing the data and whatnot. Push email. Oh, I've already got a mobile me account. Uh, not now. I've already got a mobile me account. Why would it ask me again? Again, agreeing to terms and conditions. Likely a different set. Set up as a new phone. That's right, new phone. What's the name? What do we name this? Oh gosh, we need to name this iPhone. The last one was just creatively named iPhone. Uh, any uh, any suggestions here? I fail. No, that would be AT and T. Uh, C phone. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, it's got a compass in there. Um, Wicket. Or Pixie, do you got an idea? My dog's here. One of them's coming here. Hey, Wicket, you got an idea of what to call it? What do I call it? Come here, bud. Hi. Oh, you're wet. No, forget it. Dude, you're... Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that there. Uh, so you get... I'm taking Taser, iChris, S-Phone. Name it Taser. GGG, iCompute, iCompass, Pickwick. Pickwick? Hmm. Nah. The I Perillo. Come on. Come on. What does that say? I Extreme? I Taser? You guys gotta get more creative. 
with these uh, suggestions here. I Perillo 3GS. Gnome? Oh, oh, it's a roaming gnome. Gnome? Do I just call it gnome? All right, I'll call it gnome. We'll call it gnome. I gnome? All right, I gnome. Wait, do I put I in front of it or is that just I stupid? Just gnome. Let's just go with gnome. All right. Automatically sync contacts, calendars, bookmarks, and email accounts. Automatically sync applications. Uh, I don't think I want to sync contacts and calendars and notes. So I'm going to set up Exchange on there. Uh, automatically syncing applications. Yes. Done. Sync in progress. Waiting for activation. This may take some time is, is what the, uh, the uh, screen tells me. Uh, in terms of the actual screen, it seems exactly the same. Yeah, I can't detect any difference. I mean, in terms of color, saturation, and whatnot. Uh, there is, as I had tweeted last week, an oleophobic screen on this one, which should uh, handle uh, oil from the skin better than earlier uh, iPhone revisions. And now I'm syncing 300 apps. I have 300 apps. Can you believe that? Uh, I collect them. Of course, I review them, and uh, if you have an iPhone app you want me to review, just drop me a line, chris at perillo.com. Uh, I'm going to go through the rest of the configuration process here. This is just a live unboxing and unactivation. Thanks, AT&T. Really appreciate it. The next step that I'm going to take um, is despite the uh, oleophobic uh, screen, I am going to put a matte uh, uh, layer, uh, what do they call it, a screen protector over it. And I'll be sure to put the links for that in the uh, the show notes so you can get your own. Hey, Wicket, are you can you want the iPhone 3G? It's going to somebody else, buddy. Sorry, sorry. He was really holding out for the uh, what was it? Was it called the Open Moco? Was that the name of it? It was like Wicket. Was that the name of it? I can't remember. It was like an open source uh, mobile platform, but they ended up uh, dropping that. Hey, buddy. All right. Can you, thank you for sharing your wet paws with me. But I gotta close the video. Yes, I know. I appreciate it too iPhone.LockerGnome.com is a list of all the latest iPhone apps that are available in the iTunes App Store. Let me try that again. iTunes App Store. You can put it on your GNOME, your phone GNOME. You can phone home with your GNOME. iPhone.LockerGnome.com. Of course, our community of tech enthusiasts at Geeks.Perillo.com. And then we have also got, uh, you know, the, the chat room. That's uh, part of the live video feed here. Streaming out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You're more than welcome to join us. Typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.